Welcome to So Very Easy, my name is Laura and today I'd like to share with you a no pattern pattern dress. Now this dress can either be used as a dress or it could be used as a cover up for a bathing suit depending on the fabric that you choose. And this dress is a one shoulder dress so it drapes underneath and it has a little bit of an elastic here just so that it keeps it up where it should be and it only has one sleeve. So you can wear it on this shoulder or you can wear it on this shoulder, but it is very easy. You can also make it in a fabric that is not so sheer and make it into a dress. The key thing is the fabric choice and the fabric choice should be a fabric that drapes, not a stiff fabric. So when you pick up the fabric, it should have a nice drape to it and that makes this dress very, very easy to make and very flattering. So let's talk about the kind of material you're going to need. You can use anything from this sheer fabric to a stretch knit. If you're going to make a dress, I would definitely recommend a stretch knit. And if you're going to have a bathing suit wrap up, well, you can use pretty much anything that you really like. Now how much fabric are you going to need? Well, that depends on how long you're going to want it. I would normally recommend to start with approximately two yards of fabric to three yards. And that will give you a long enough dress that you can work with, but you can decide exactly how long you're going to want it by taking the measurement from wherever the length is to your shoulder times two. For example, if you want it to come to your knee, you measure from your knee to your shoulder times two, and that's how much length of fabric you need to buy. After that, there's just a couple of little measurements you're going to need and a piece of elastic, some coordinating thread, and a tape measure, and this dress will take you no time at all to make. Let's get started. So to start with, you're going to need to determine the length. So you can start with the measurement at the knee. Even if you want it a little shorter, start with the knee because you can shorten it afterwards. You're going to go from the knee and up to the shoulder. The reason you need to double it is because the dress will have to come back down. So you need to have that length in order for you to have enough fabric. Now here I have a miniature little bolt of fabric and you have the selvage, the folded end, and the cut end. So with my little mannequin here I have 7 inches so I'm going to need 14 inches for my mannequin. So you've had your fabric cut and this is just a little miniature so that you can see what I'm doing but I will make it in real human size for you. So you have your selvage edges, your folded edges and the cut edges. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up the fabric and you are going to put the cut edges together and match up all of your seams. The first measurement you're going to want is from the shoulder to your wrist because that will be that portion of the dress. This section will fall here long. This side fits underneath here. Then you end up cutting out this little piece here that will go across the shoulder. And let me show you how to get this measurement to start with. So I have my fabric folded here in front of me. I have the cut edges together so my selvages run along here and this is the fold because the fold is going to be the shoulder seam. So I need to make that first measurement which will be from my wrist or if I want shorter but I like to have it at my wrist. Go from my wrist to the inside of my neck and if you don't have someone helping you to hold the ruler here's a way to do it. Put the tape measure in between your fingers and find the 10 mark and put the 10 mark where you want your sleeve to be and you will be able to hold it this way and when you go up here you will know exactly what the measurement is and you subtract 10 from it. I have 33 so I'm going to subtract 10 which is going to give me 23 inches. So I'm going to take the 23 inches from the corner and I'm going to move it over and I'm going to put a mark. Now the second mark is going to go from your first mark to the end of your shoulder. So just 
put it and take the mark here. And you can be a little bit generous. And again, I'm going to mark that. Now those are your two main measurements. Your next measurement is the measurement you're going to need for the elastic, which is going to make that off-shoulder look. So the measurement you're going to have is going to go right across here. And you don't want the measurement so tight that it's cutting into your neck, or if it's cutting into the back here, because that will not be comfortable. But you don't want it too loose either. So you just want a nice, comfortable measurement. Even if it's a little big here, it's fine, because this is where the seam's going to go, so you're going to be able to make it tighter and adjust it to fit you exactly perfect. So get a comfortable measurement, and that is the size of the elastic that you are going to cut. So far, so easy. So let me go back to my miniature to show you exactly how this is going to work. Here was the first mark that came to your neck, and then this went to your shoulder. So your neck is in here. And you're able to cut this piece off because the seam that's going to go here is going to be your side seam. And you're just going to cut that piece off. So I've cut off the extra. So here's the first pin that was at my neck and there was the other pin. So now I need to cut this angle. So with the tape measure, you're going to be able to see where you need to cut. I want to make sure I have enough room for this elastic. And I just want to leave just a very little piece here hanging over because I want to stretch the elastic ever so slightly. So just use a two finger rule. Put your two fingers and that's all the seam allowance you're going to need for the stretch of this elastic. And this is the line that you are going to cut. So now I can cut from here down to here. So there's my little piece off. Now you need to sew this elastic onto this area. Take your elastic and you want to mark it into fours. Fold it in half and put a mark here. And fold it in half again and you want to mark these folds here. Now I need to mark the halfway mark here because I already know and you will be able to see that it has a little bit of a V shape. So now just take it, fold it in half and I know those are going to be my next marks. Match up your marks. So I have my center mark that's going up here. My halfway marks are going to match these pins and this will go into the bottom. And I'm going to take this to the machine and I'm going to sew on this elastic. Now to sew on the elastic, you're going to take your elastic to the wrong side and you're going to do a small zigzag that is going to catch the edge of the fabric and the edge of the elastic. And because the elastic is shorter than the fabric, as you sew, you just need to stretch it and catch it all in. Now for sewing on elastic, it is really good if you use a zigzag stitch that is made for elastics. And on my baby lock, it is a 113 or a 114, and that's very hard to see. So let me draw you a picture. So you might have two zigzags on your machine. This is a regular zigzag stitch. This one, where it looks like there is a break in the middle, this is the one that's used for elastic. And what happens is the machine will do two stitches here versus one. So the machine is going to go stitch, 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 stitch. The zigzag one is going to go stitch, 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 stitch. stitch. And with that extra stitch in the middle here, it's going to have the elastic stretch without the thread breaking. So this is the one that you're going to want to find on your machine. If you don't have that one, definitely go to this one. First thing you're going to do is just do a couple of stitches to anchor that down. Now you can see you have more fabric than elastic. So you need to stretch it and it will come together 
and then you will zigzag on top of this elastic, catching the bottom and the elastic together. Now you're going to turn the elastic over and you're going to stitch again on top of this elastic, stretching it as you go. And you're going to want to stay within the center of the elastic and it'll look really nice on this side. See how pretty that stitch looks? And it stretches without the threads breaking. Well, we're almost done. We need one more seam, and that's going to be the seam that comes down here. And you need to figure out if you need to take in that elastic a little bit. So you'll need to try the dress on. So we have the part here that was the sleeve. And this is the part that's going to go across here. Now this is going to be a little bit too big. So you need to try it on and figure out exactly what is the comfort range. Now this mannequin is very small, so I will try this on and I will find out what my seam allowance is going to be and then I will be able to sew down here. Now you want it to sit comfortably. You don't want it so tight that it's going to cut you off here or it's going to cut under the armpit. So try it on and you are going to be able to do the seam straight down the edge. So we've done the side seam, it's all finished. Now the next thing you can do is you can add a seam in the side. The reason is if you're going to wear this as a dress, well that's all open and you're not going to want it open. So you will match up your seams along the side and you're going to stitch a row between the two layers along here. And you will just do that measurement on your own body. Just put it on and just put some pins. Now you have to leave enough room, of course, for your arm. And then you can stop it where it feels comfortable to you. Doing that, you're able to wear this as a dress because it's completely closed. But if you want it just as a bathing suit wrap, well, you can leave it open at this point. The other nice thing to do is finish the edge. A rolled edge always looks nice and it finishes off the project. However, you can just leave it if you do not have a fabric that frays. But I'm going to make this into a dress, so I'm going to sew the seam here and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So there we have the side seam sewn down. So you have your spot for your arm, and it's off the shoulder and you're all set to go. Now you do need to make sure your hems are even, but if you kept your fabric straight, it would be all right. The other thing at the very end of the sleeve here, you can curve that corner. And that's strictly a personal preference, or if it's too long, it might drag on the floor. So here's the area that you could trim. Now, if you like this look, well, it's fine to keep. But if not, you will just round this just a little bit. So you're going to take off this corner triangle. Let me show you what the blue one looks like, and I'll show you the longer version. So there we have it. The dress is done. We have the elastic that has gone around so that it has one shoulder showing. You have the seam, the only seam, right here on the side. The next seam that you put in was the seam here, and it went through to both sides. And both these measurements are going to be your own measurement. From there, we had a nice little rolled hem along the edge. So we have it all. The front and the back is completely done. So you can see where this would be very good as a dress. Now let's look at the second one where you would use it more as a bathing suit wrap. Okay, now the sheer one, obviously you're going to use it as a bathing suit wrap. And because this has no stretch to it, you will not be able to put that seam in here or you will not be able to get it on. So this will work good just for a bathing suit wrap. And this has been made very, very long, almost floor length. And you can see I've had to angle this a lot more because if not, it would drag on the floor. So you'll know exactly how much to take that off. Again though, the same thing. You have your one seam here 
you have your fold up here, the elastic that goes around, and well, it's done. I know it seems very easy. You have a measurement from your wrist to your neck, from your neck to here is your main measurements. After that, the elastic is going to go here, and you need to just find the measurement here. It really is that easy, and this will fit any person because you use your own measurements. I do hope you give this a try. It is a very easy and fun project to do. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe, and as always, come on back, and let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.